And in the holy hills of Mount Kenya, the 12 elders fast for 40 days while they do maintenance on the sacred African tab. Tika historia wa Misri hapa Afrika mlima Kenya huitwa Taneteru. Kumaanisha makao takatifu ya Mwenyezi Mungu hapa duniani. Na ni dhahiri kwenye Biblia Mungu na mlima ambao ni makao yake duniani. Ndio maana Musa na Waisraeli walihitajika kwenda huko. Basi Musa akaupanda juu mlimani kwa Mungu. Hapo Mwenyezi Mungu akamuita Musa kutoka juu mlimani na kumwambia, "Nyinyi wenyewe mmeona jinsi nilivyochukua kama tai, anavyochukua watoto wake kwa mabawa nikawaleta kwangu. Sasa basi mkitii sauti yangu na kulishika agano langu, mtakuwa watu wangu wote ule katika mataifa yote. Maana dunia yote ni yangu mtakuwa kwangu falme wa makuhani na taifa takatifu kwa hivyo Mwenyezi Mungu na mlima mtakatifu hapa duniani ambao wa Misri waliita Taneteru ambao leo ni mlima Kenya wa Kenya njeoni tuungane kwenye maombi ya Mwenyezi Mungu tukiuzunguka mlima mtakatifu wa Mwenyezi Mungu tukimsujudu ili atubariki Shiri and he will be an ambassador from Mount Kenya. For the words of God that you will use will bring global peace on this earth. Wajua baada ya Mwenyezi Mungu kuwaita wazee sabini mlimani wakiwa na Musa kuthibitisha sheria zake ziwe ya gano kati yake na binadamu, wazee walimuona Mwenyezi Mungu na chini ya miguu yake kulikuwa na sakafu ya mawe ya johari ya rangi ya samawati. Ni mujiza huo ulipelekea wengi kuita mlima huo mlima wa Mungu. Ndio maana tangu jadi wengi wanapoelekea kusali mlimani huvaa mavazi ya samawati. Mlima wenyewe unaitwa Sinai. Je, wajua karibu na mlima Kenya kuna mtu unaojulikana kama Sinai? Na je, wajua katika lugha ya Kimasai kuna jina Sinai linalotokana na jina pa Sinai? Yaani kumsujudu Mungu. Sasa unajua Wahisani ya gipoyo and mombika. So many things here, the tragical things concealed in Mount Kenya. Some were concealed by the Egyptians. They were all concealed there. The people to lead global peace are the people who are living at the bottom of Mount Kenya. They are calling them in America, they are calling them Wakada. And all of us you are coming. You are Wakanda. So they have come to visit Wakanda. And after that, our dream will be realized, not only the museum, but the world population now will start flocking here to receive the blessings from God. This is a very important day. It might look as an ordinary day, but this is the beginning of the Hotiko global peace. Global peace cannot be attained by political setups or monetary circles, but by the psychic energies that we receive from Mount Kenya. Mount Kenya was known by all great prophets and great kings, especially the king of Egypt, kings of Egypt, who are known as pharaohs. In the Bible, it is the mountain of Zion. Zion is not a Jewish name, no English name. It is an African name. Zion meaning Thayo, and Thayo is peace. I don't know how Zion became an English word, because it's an African word meaning peace. So that's when the elders play, they say, 
Father, your guy, thy that is, peace be unto you. Peace be unto you. We are going to Mount Kenya now. The rich you are performing there is within what we call esoteric wisdom. It is not something for simple people. It is not a issue for simple church goers or simple Muslim temple goers. It is for the special anointed people of God like Quadri and Mike. And in the holy hills of Mount Kenya, the 12 elders fast for 40 days while they do maintenance on the sacred African tablets. And at the end of the fast, we face the mountain, hands raised, eyes open. Repeat after me. Repeat after me. Today we have come under the sun, facing Mount Kenya, together as one, standing as one, chanting as one. Now let peace come through the power of one. Let freedom come, let healing come, let unity come to the black nation.